Welcome to your daily Ski Fit Rundown. You like my hat? You want one? Don't forget to fill out the survey. Fill out the survey and enter to win one of these. It's gonna be awesome. It's real quick. Just go do it. Thanks. Enter to win. Alrighty, our last day of ski fitness. Da da da. All right, so our strength today, we've got our quarter squat, teardrop, tap dance finale. Woo! So we are going 30 quarter squats. If 30 is easy, don't forget to add some weight on that movement. Then we've got our teardrop tap dance. This one is, you guessed it, 60 seconds per leg. After your quarter squat, teardrop, tap dance complex, we have max unbroken push-ups. So for the max unbroken push-ups, you're going to do as many push-ups as you can in one unbroken set. All right. So if you start on your toes as many times as, or as many push-ups as you can um, in a row, if you find that you need to drop to your knees at any point during that, that's your trigger to be max. Okay. Same thing if you drop to your knees and you need to move your hands and stand up. Okay. So as many push-ups as you can, if your hands move, that's your set. Okay. So max unbroken push-ups, and it's our last time through with the quarter squat teardrop tap dance complex. Whoop, whoop. Um, moving on into our conditioning for today, we've got our Tabatas. Couple new movements in today's Tabata. We've got hippity hops. So that's a new one. Um, so using a bench, if you have one or any sort of, um, stable object that you can perform the hippity hops on. If you do not have anything to do hippity hops safely on, then you're going to just do drop squats, which is what we did last week. So drop squats in case you don't have anything for the uh, hippity hops, otherwise stick with the hippity hops, hippity hop. Okay. After, uh, for that first one with the hippity hops or the drop squats, don't forget you're going to be resting in your uh, skier tuck hold. Okay. So it's actually a restless Tabata for that one. Uh, as far as the number of rounds, of rounds of Tabata, remember we're adding around from whatever we did last week. Okay. So last week, if you did seven rounds this week, you're doing eight rounds of each. Okay. Second movement is burpees. So trying to get as many burpees as you can within the 20 seconds, rest the 10 seconds, rinse and repeat for eight or for your whatever, whatever rounds you're on and really trying to get, maximize the amount of burpees you get within your 20 second interval. Third movement is our touch, jump, touch. We are all familiar with that one by now. Um, so same thing as the burpees, trying to get as many as you can touch, jump, touch during that 20 second interval. Last one is a weighted sit up. All right. So using a weight on your weighted sit up, you can use a dumbbell, a plate, a med ball, whatever you have access to. If the weighted sit up becomes too much, you can always scale to sit ups or even just crunches for that movement. All right. We're resting a minute in between each of these Tabatas. Um, and go hard. Good luck. It's our last day. Have fun. Hopefully we're all feeling good by now. Durability this week, we've got our three rounds of side plank rotations. So not only working the obliques, but adding the shoulder in there, some getting and getting some shoulder stability as we rotate around in that um, side plank rotation. And we've got our Copenhagen plank attacking the adductors on the inner thigh. And then last but not least, our hollow body hold. This week we are going 40 to 50 seconds. So scaling that accordingly, whether you need to go to that bent knee position whatever you need to do to achieve that posterior pelvic tilt, where you can maintain your lower back flat and pressed against the floor. Do not let it peel up. We've progressed this movement this week. So if you need to scale back or break the, um, set up into, you know, so you can achieve that while keeping your lower back on the floor, go ahead. All right. This is the last week, last day of ski fit air virtual hug. It's been fun. Congratulations on making it to the end of ski fit. That's awesome. Um, we hope you feel strong and fit going into your ski season and that you stay injury free for the whole season as well. If you have any comments or feedbacks, we'd really appreciate it in that survey. And also if you, end, if you fill out the survey, you'll be entered to win that super awesome beanie. 
anyways, we'd appreciate the feedback and we hope you enjoyed this year's online ski fit and we hope that you'll join us next year again.